Okay. And then I turned around. I had brand new tires. There was brand new tires. They were in my garage, and then she took them. My girlfriend told my girlfriend I went racing and beat all my friends. And they were all roosted, and she rubbed all the knobs off. Jeremy McGrath wheelied. Hey, baby! Hey, baby! Jeff Emig, right over the top. She pulled the whole shot. She kissed Ezra Lusk in the trailer. Hey, baby! I like your custom-painted helmet! It's really, really... Beautiful. My girlfriend needs money for race gas. She's going racing dirt bikes. Can you help me out? Uh, but... no, thanks. I appreciate it, though. You look beautiful. She whole shot it. I taught her how to ride. She popped a wheelie. My grandmother was upset. Can't run pump gas. She's got the, you know, the engine's been ported on her RM250. I wonder if he could pull himself just using his chin. My girlfriend for race gas. Thank you. Well, nice day. shoes. What a loser. Watch him go after the girl in the pink. Need for what? Race. Race gas. My girlfriend has a hot rod uh, dirt bike and she needs some race gas. I'm trying to get some money and stuff. Sounds personal. Yeah, it is a personal. Thank you. Love your hat. I had a pet like that hat once. Most of the talk show hosts, not like me, they wait for the 30-second board. They might make a mistake. If I make a mistake, I'm going to keep going. I'm Sherry Venato, and this is MW2 Rev It Up. Round two in the National Motocross Series. Win, 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 win. Also, with the four-stroke guys going to be racing out here. Boom, 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 boom. There's other things going on. Women racing. Women racing. Women's MX. Women in the NHRA. Leanne Tweeden, Scott Summers doing a dual sport ride. But well, you know what, Scott? Whoa! <laughs> And I'm waiting for the 15-second board. Mm -hmm -hmm, my new Camel Trophy watch. Oh, and that's it. Jeff Emig, number one plate. Listen to this. Ah, the sweet sound of motos in the afternoon at Hang Town on Rev It Up! Yeah! MW2's Rev It Up is brought to you by Honda Motorcycles, the leader in on- and off-road fun. Honda, come ride with us. And by Suzuki. Right now, your Suzuki dealer has the ride you've been waiting for and the financing to get it. Introducing the all-new Suzuki GSX R600. It's so quick. So intense, so dominating. Just to be fair, you might want to give the competition a bit of a head start. In yet another torture test, we drained the oil from this car and added just this much Castrol Syntec. We then ran it over 100 miles per hour and waited and waited. You see, Syntec has a unique molecular structure that bonds to engine parts. And if a little Syntec can protect under these conditions, imagine what a full oil change can do. Castrol Syntec protects in ways other oils can. And now, try Castrol Syntec Power System, a new kind of fuel system treatment. Out of the shadows come three incredible motorcycles. Each one takes the look of a custom to a beautiful new place. The new Honda Shadow Spirit 1100, the new Shadow Ace Tourer, and the Shadow American Classic Edition. It's always cooler in the shadows. The 97 Mazda 626LX Special Edition. Lease for 229. Add rich leather and the lease goes to... 
Add air and a silky automatic and the lease cruises too. Add power everything and the lease rolls too. Add the best basic warranty in its class and you get the idea. Lease or buy for $17,895. Turbin Auto, San Francisco, California, 6 o'clock at night. Sun's just going down. Great lighting. We're going to go talk to the man, see what advice he could give a girl that wants to get a career in racing. What we're seeing out here this weekend is some of the nation's, in fact, world's top women out here competing in the second annual AMA U.S. Women's Motocross League Outdoor Championship Series. We have three rounds this year. This is the opening round. It's awesome. I think women can compete in whatever they want to compete in. I think it's fine. My uh, father's uh, second wife used to race motorcycles when she was younger, so, I mean, why shouldn't women do it? Dee Wood, she is the current world champion. She's finished in the nationals in the top two consistently. Um, she's really a go-getter, and she's out here to win. It was really good today. Um, we were the first moto, so it was really smooth. It'll probably get a lot rougher as the day goes on, but the first moto went real well for me. We also have Tracy Fleming. She's here from Washington, and she got second at the World Cup, and she's anxious for blood on D. Good start, and just try the best I can. Another rider that we have is number 535. Her name is Jennifer Nelson. She's a rookie pro. She is one of the hottest young stars to emerge on the circuit. They should be able to race wherever and whenever they want to. Yeah, they ought to. Absolutely. There's a lot of them very successful in it. Wonderful. They need to do it. They need to make as much prize money as the men make. Here's what I see. Okay, if you think weight is an issue, we get the big CR500. We put you on it. You are full on, ready to go. Hangtown National, women's class, whole shot. First turn, your thoughts. I won it. What else? Where's the champagne? I'm all for it. I mean, my sister rode for a few years, and she was pretty good. And uh, just, you got to be hard with the guys, because when you beat them, they get mad, and they get jealous, and their dads want to beat them up. Women motocross. Yeah, awesome. It's it's cool. Uh, I mean, I like, I like watching them ride. There's a couple of girls out there right now who, uh, who are you know, pretty good riders, and they and they seem to be learning pretty good technique and, and everything, and having pretty good speed. So, I don't know, just, they just have to wear those funky chest protectors. What are your thoughts about women competing in the sport of motorcycle racing? WNBA, we got next. Same thing. <laughs> women are just, they're getting into it, and if they can do it, they can do it. You know, I think it's cool. Why not? Great day for racing. We're here at Hangtown. I prefer the hill. I don't know what all those people over there in first turn are thinking. What about the view from the hill? Hi, this is uh, Jeff Emig with ESPN2. I, I don't have time to wait on Jerry Bernardo over there because, he, you know, he's too busy being a superstar. Don't make a career out of it, tough guy. So I think I'll do my own interview. So, uh, Jeff, we're at uh, Hangtown. Uh, yeah, we are. What do you think Jeremy wants to talk about? Supercross or outdoor nationals? I'll ask him. Wait right there. What do you want to talk about? Supercross or outdoor nationals? This is one left. Outdoor Supercross. nationals. Okay, let's talk about outdoor nationals. Hangtown the track. Ah, it's good. It's pretty good. It's fast. It's hard packed. Kind of what I'm used to down at home. Other than that, it's, uh, it's no, no big jumps or anything. It's good. Console is a tip for interviewing motocross riders. Check for boogers in the nose. Do I have any? You're clean. Good. Okay. Three-time world champ. We're at Outdoors, my favorite. Wide open. You guys were just out riding around. What's the track look like here at Hangtown? Track's looking good. I'm feeling good. Suzuki's running great. Um, I think we're good for a win. How about the rest of the team? I tried to get Jeremy to do the interview with you, like buddies, you know, and in the pits together. Well, we are buddies, but he's picking his nose, I think. Yeah. It's all going to change today. Hard pack, up hills, down hills, wide open. You're going to hang it out for the crowd? Always, right? That's Always. what I need you to say it. Always. Turn to the camera and say, yes, I will hang it out. Yes, I will hang it out. I like to think about Yamaha that each guy's won a Supercross. Is that cool or what? Yeah, that's totally cool, no doubt. Uh, and actually, we've all won two Supercrosses except JD. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you got to give me the facts and figures. And, you know, I think that is a family member over there. And money exchanged hands for that. No, actually, she showed up this morning with a big old banner. Are you in love? Do you love Ezra? Shout out your undying love right now. <laughs> she had a hey, big old banner. What's it like to be you? I don't know. What's it like to be you? Okay, we were kind of bagging on you on the training thing. Did you see that segment? 
Oh, uh, yeah, I did. It was all meant in good fun. Rumor has it he's in negotiations to be sponsored next year by Dryer's Ice Cream. You're still winning, dude. We're not hampering your procedure. I know. Okay, cool. Hangtown, 1-1 one, one Moto. I don't know. I'm not saying nothing. Right. right on. Now, that's a smart racer. Ricky Carmichael, he may be little, but he packs a wallop. I got the inside scoop. You were down training in Temecula with Lex and Kifa and the boys out to a moto track. Five-minute lap times, I heard. Five minutes? How'd you Maybe know? my friend was talking crap. Was it true? Huh. That's supposed to be underground. How you know that? Yeah, I've been putting in uh, quite a bit of time, so... Uh, Three motos. Yeah, working Three half-hour motos. Working hard. Top five tips on how to stalk Ezra Lusk. Uh, look at his butt and follow him around. Go to his hotel. Um, follow him when he's driving. And the number one tip on how to stalk Ezra Lusk. Call his room. Hans Laser has spotted Ezra Lusk stalker once more time. Oh, God. Professional. Have you ever been stalked by a female fan? Yeah, but I kind of liked it. Yeah, it's kind of cool, huh? Can you make that sound where you go? Do your girlfriend hate me seriously? She thinks you're pretty cool, you know? It just hurts, your, hurts her feeling when you don't wave, you know, because you're a celebrity. Yeah, but she's just totally beautiful. She needs, like, three stalkers. Three stalkers? Let's wave to her. Hangtown. Give it to me. Give me the, give me the dirt. Give me the scoop on Hangtown. The dirt? Um, I'll give you a bunch of dirt if you want to stand behind me off the start. Odd rumor has it that chicks dig you and guys want to fight you. <laughs> That's why I have you around it. Keep those guys away. ESPN 2 bouncer, Jerry B. See that right there? I, I, this is the first time I've ever done an interview with a pole. It's cool, though. <laughs> we have no rules. We're going to ultimate that thing right out of here, people. <laughs> On June 7th, you could feel the earth move. Enter to win your chance to crash the 1997 MTV Movie Awards. Get two tickets to the terrifyingly excellent awards show in L.A. Passes to the screaming post-show bash. Entry into a shocking pre-awards party. And the chance to win a brand new Ford Escort ZX2. The game is on. There'll be five local winners from Continental Cablevision and our sponsors. Enter to win at Gameland in Costa Mesa. Hurry, contest ends Sunday, May 18th. Is it your intention to waste away your entire summer at the beach? Cool. jock stereotype thing it's true i've seen it but from time to time there will be exceptions and we're starting to see that as well gary absolutely dismal in this office nobody smiles you got the fluorescent lights that just suck they suck they suck everything out of you so you're not listening to me i wish you had time to relax. you're not I you're not I feeling can. the vibe that i'm, I'm trying to like give to you. Producer. i'm trying to give you a piece of myself i'm trying to give you a little peace a little love be within you is it so bad this world we live in uh, Yeah, the embroidered chair. Okay. <laughs> One of the segments on the show is we're doing a thing on women motocrosses, women racing, drag racing. What do you think of all that? I think it's I think it's good. I think um, that women should support the, the should support it a lot. But I mean, they're all competing out there. It's nice for you to support Ty, but women full on competing. I mean, they're out here riding stuff like this, going on. I have to have a lot of respect for them. They uh, they have some guts. I can support him and let him go out there, but. I have a lot of respect for him. Do you think I could, like, ever get a date with a motocross stuff, a girl, you know, like... Do you ever think I have any chance with women at all? Oh, my God. Bernardo, you could get a date with anyone. She knows I was in San Francisco last night. That's why she said that. Uh-oh. Ah! Next up on MW2, rev it up. Women of NHRA. Know what that is? Drag racing. Girls that race drag bikes. What do you think? I think that's really cool. What do you think? I think women roll and they need to be on TV. I think you guys are really cute. Can we go out like a threesome? Definitely. No, it'll be fun. No touching, though. That would just ruin it. Well, maybe a little. You got a pen? 
this has been a male-dominated sport, but I think in all categories you're seeing you're seeing the inroads, you know, where the women are coming in. I've never felt it as a male-dominated sport. I guess because I worked on cars all my life and I've watched so many women race, you know, Amy Falk was great, she's won, I think, national events in four different categories, so there's always been women out there, it just seems like right now the media is focusing on us, um, fine, I just hope, you know, we all do well, and I just want to win races. Now we have Shelly Anderson that drives the Western Auto Car, uh, uh, a racer's been around, beautiful gal, and can control all that horsepower. Unbelievable. And then and then Christian Powell, there's another one, just a baby. I ran into her at Phoenix going by. I thought she wanted an autograph. First things first, I did want his autograph. <laughs> it, it's really neat. You know, it's, it's generated a lot of publicity, which is really good for us. And it's, it's only helped us throughout this whole thing. And it's also really neat for me. You know, I get the opportunity to race these cars when I'm 18 years old. It's just amazing. We, we were here when Shirley Muldowney was here, and she was a great champion when she was here. So we've seen the women come and go in our sport for a number of years. These are not the first two that have been here by any means, and they won't be the last two. And yes, we accept them for being uh, participants and for people that we have to race. And if you don't go up there with the attitude that you're going to do the best you can against them, they'll beat you. It's that simple. So you have to, and, and that's the way it works in our sport. You can't ask for better looking competitors. I mean, you know, the guys are really cool, you know, but some of them, they miss their shaves sometimes. And the girls, they seem to always come up to the line with their makeup done. So, I mean, I wish them all the success in the world. proud to be here. We both had the same dream. We were fortunate enough to start at the same time last year at Denver. And hopefully what we're doing is um, opening the roads for younger women who believe that they want to race. And now they'll be able to be taken a little more seriously, we hope. Yeah, I think so. Um, I don't know how it happened for Stephanie, but I know in the beginning when I first said I wanted to ride a pro stock bike or that I was going to ride a pro stock bike, I got a couple of laughs or maybe a lot of doubt, you know, could she really do it? But now that we're both out here doing it and we're both competing, you know, we're competitive out here. We're not just in the back of the crowd. And um, I think the next girl that comes along is gonna, it's gonna be a lot easier for her to get into it than it was for either one of us. Definitely. I think the initial thing with women in motorsports, it kind of hits the, the male ego a little bit, but the bottom line is, is we're in the entertainment business. We're not doctors, we're not lawyers. You know, we're just trying to make a living out here. And we're trying to show corporate America that these are legitimate avenues to market products. If the women come in and, and get along with Revlon and, uh, you know, pantyhose, hey, if that grows the sport, Winston Drag Racing needs that. I think that we both share in that with um, starting last year in Denver, and I think that, um, speaking for myself and I'm sure for Angel as well, that we're pretty proud to be considered the pioneers of Pro Stock Motorcycle for women. But I, th I think it's really neat that, that women, Shelly Anderson, Angel Seelig, Stephanie Reeves, of course Shirley Muldowney, you know, she was just amazing. All these women are so good. I think they're, it's, it's really good for drag racing, you know, they, they're there to support me, and I'm there to support them, and you know, if we stick together, it's really fun. Okay. Mono World 2, rev it up, we'll be right back! Woo! Rev it up, brought to you in part by Honda Passport, the official four-wheel drive vehicle of MW2's Rev it up. Now the bike you want equals big time bucks, correct? Incorrect. Do the math. During Suzuki Fest 97, get up to $500 in Suzuki accessories free with a selected Suzuki. Like the awesome GSX R1100. You also get free accessories with the Katana 600 and 750 and the RF900R. And choose from financing options like zero down and 9.9% APR on selected models. But hurry, Suzuki Fest won't lie. So you plus Suzuki equals... Well, come on, add it up. Grant, it's time to look beyond basketball. I'm thinking made-for-TV drama. You want me to be just like Tommy, Dad, but I can only be Jake. After
After that, you go on tour with your book. Then you cut an album. I'm a cowboy. So, what do we think? I'd never do something like that. Care for a Sprite? and I've recently appointed myself spokesperson for your Major League Soccer. And though the ball didn't exactly bounce Galaxy's way today, think of England, 1940, what with the Jerry's and all. We kept our chins up and fought the good fight, and, well, here we are. So, carry on. Tomorrow's a new day. Pixie, Chuckles, let's check the shower. Hello, I'm the Queen of England. And you are... All right, I'm here getting a world-famous massage by Mr. Jerry Bernardo, who is very wonderful, I might add. But check this out. Yesterday, I went dual sport riding with Scott Summers at Hurricane Mills at Loretta Lynn's Dude Ranch. Woo! Oh, you're so good, Jerry. I have to, like, not concentrate when I'm doing this because I get confused. Hi, everybody. We're here at Loretta Lynn's Dude Ranch in beautiful Hurricane Mills, Tennessee. I'm here with Scott Summers, and Scott's going to take me on my first dual sport ride of my life, actually. So, Scott, tell me what it's going to consist of. Well, Loretta has a beautiful place here. She has thousands of acres, and um, it rained a little bit yesterday, so hopefully it's not going to be too muddy. I'm not real worried about you. If you ride, like, half as good as you look, I'm going to have a hard time keeping up today. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, uh, thank you. That's so sweet. I'm just worried about getting my new riding, my white riding gear all dirty. I understand. Uh, we'll have to wait. It should dry up a little bit. There's um, a little bit of everything out here. There's some, some beautiful grassy rolling hills and some tight woods. And Dave Coombs did a really good job and does every year laying out the course. So it should be fun. Well, if you guys stay tuned, we're going to take you through the whole ride with us today. Well, this is the spot where he just demonstrated where not to go. Now, see, the trail was right over there. And somehow, he made about three spin over too far, and we just carried this bike out of this hole. So it's like how not to and how to. He just showed us how not to. <laughs> Actually, right here, I have my XR250L that I'll be riding. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, this is a 250cc four-stroke. Uh, it's a very reliable motorcycle, just like all the other XRs. What's special about this bike is the power characteristics are very smooth. So even if it's really muddy and slippery, the thing's not going to get you in trouble. It gets really good traction. It sits a little bit lower to the ground, so it's perfect for women. You know, In case you do get in trouble, you need to put your foot out to catch yourself. It's a lot easier to do that on this bike, for example, than a 650 like the one I'm riding. Scott, I just want to thank you so much for having me out here, and Fred and Honda and the Riders Club of America. Thank you for taking me. Show me the ropes. I talked to a lot of people today, and everybody was very inspired by you coming out here, and it's somebody like a celebrity that they'd seen on TV, and they were like, hey, Leanne's riding today. So I think that was really cool. You coming out, I hope you come back and see us. Well, I hope that's an open invitation. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I, I'll take that. So all you women out there, I did it today. You can do it, too. You'll love it. Why do you think they call it the sound of thunder? Check this out, listen. And they're not even really revving them up yet. I mean, on the start, it is going to be loud and proud. Lamp Smale, 620 cc. Mike Healy, Spud Walton. Ty Davis. Ty Davis can ride anything. Guys like Scott Summers just always rides four-stroke, and he goes like a bat out of hell. Whole bunch of number one plate. I, yeah, I think it just, it helps to stay on the four-stroke all the time. You know, you uh, you stay on one bike, you get really good on that bike, and it just looks better to always be on that four-stroke. So uh, every now and then I'll jump on my 250, go blitz around, but they just don't have it anymore. Four-strokes are where it's at. So you're enjoying this four-stroke series. It's about time that we get some kudos for the Thumbas, being able to come out here and run your own thing. 
Oh, definitely. You know, um, these things are a lot of fun, uh, yet they are really competitive. You know, they, they, they're a good bike. They're, they're light. They're fast. And, and I think they're definitely contenders with the two-stroke. What do you think about the series, the four-stroke series that Mike Young's put on? Oh, I think it's awesome. You know, because right now, the four-strokes, there's not really factory bikes, so everyone's building these exotic bikes, and I think it brings a lot of tension and a lot of enthusiasm to the sport. We've had people tell us for six years that, why are you doing this? You know, who rides four-strokes in the dirt? Little did they know that all the factories are jumping on board, all the factories are developing or building a new bike, and, uh, and, and so we're still here to provide a place for them to show off their equipment. Dothan, Alabama. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Let's let them fight it out and come back with more MW2 Rev It Up. I'm Jerry Bonato, man on the street, causing havoc. <laughs> the Honda 4 Tracks 300 4x4. The Foreman 400 and the Honda Recon, a 250 that's all new from the ground up. You could go to...